panel is about the conditions for achieving net zero goals and the emphasis is on business. So people are really still wondering how renewable energy particularly uh, can be afforded in the future. I have actually been uh, with the EAGE for 40 years and during that time uh, it's coincided with really an extraordinary advance uh, in geoscience and of course now EAGE reflects the industry's move towards energy transition and more uh, efficient oil and uh, gas production but also investment in renewables. I found this session very interesting uh, because you heard different points of views from regulator, contractors, oil and gas companies. What became very clear is that there is still a huge challenge ahead and that it will require all of the different actors to play together that we are actually able to, to tackle this challenge. I think we also heard very clearly that there is a need for young people to, to join this discussion and to join this work. Panelists clearly knew their subject and a lot of interesting takeaways such as um, the partnership, partnering is definitely a way forward. The fact that there is uh, more opportunity for geoscientists in, this, in our industry, far more than we had anticipated uh, before the session, at least for me. You know, it's not just the traditional hydrocarbon side uh, that we need geoscientists for, it's also geothermal, carbon capture and storage side of things, and the monitoring, of course. The outlook is bright, but we really need to get our act together. And when I say we, then it's the geoscience community, the regulators, the oil companies, the, the uh, contractors to provide the technology.